For our special Halloween edition of School of Hustle, there will be no tricks, just treats. Jackie Sorkin, the candy queen and founder of Candytopia, brings the savvy to satisfy our sweet tooth. Success is related to wearing lollipop necklaces, and I kind of see that you are also wearing a lollipop necklace, and I'm very competitive, so. <laughs> This is School of Hustle, the show where we find advice and inspiration from those who are making their own way. I'm Shannon, the VP of Social here at GoDaddy, and I absolutely live and breathe the hustle of business. I think you're going to like today's conversation. We have the fabulous Jackie Sorkin, and this beautiful person mm -hmm. is the CEO of the Hollywood Candy Girls, co-founder of Candytopia, star of the TLC sugary show, Candy Queen. Welcome, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, that was the sweetest intro ever, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I love doing uh, anything related to hustle and just the, the story of working hard and making dreams come true, so thank you. Well, you're making some dreams come true in Penn Plaza right now. Let me tell you, it is a, a candy sweetness happening with Candytopia making it to Manhattan. Yeah, um, I'm absolutely living like, I just say right now I'm in dream come true scenario. Um, this is like everything that you you work so hard for. And you know, I'm a big believer in the whole dream big mentality. Now it's like dream bigger because when you make it in New York, it's like, now I can make it anywhere. So it's exciting. <laughs> well, with Candytopia, you've literally brought Willy Wonka's Wonderland to life. But I'm sure that wasn't your first idea as an entrepreneur. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think that I, my f first memory of uh, entrepreneurship or wanting to be a businesswoman, you know, was at six years old. And uh, I, I was uh, you know, starting with the simple as the lemonade stand. And mine was, mine was a lemonade stand on steroids. <laughs> and I didn't just a lemonade, I had cookies and I had 10 kinds of cookies and 10 flavors of lemonade. Um, and it all just kind of started there. I was always a, a creative child for sure. Um, but I was always really inspired by women in business and I just wanted to be a badass chick in business. Well, you clearly have achieved massive success and been very successful. What is the best piece of advice and the worst piece of advice that you've gotten along the way? It, there's something about entrepreneurs that uh, really refusing to give up and, and we have this spirit about us, right? And whether you're a male or female, um, when you are super hyper passionate, relentless, persistent. Um, I think all those things are just so important because when you dream big, you also uh, come up uh, to many, many obstacles. I've been called crazy for 10 years. I literally have become numb to being told that the ideas uh, were unnecessary, silly, nonsense, crazy. Uh, intuitively, I always felt like, no, the world uh, is, is allowed to be happy. And my medium just happens to be candy and sweets. I think one of the worst pieces of advice um, and something that will probably, might continue to happen is when somebody wants you to change and when and and sometimes in business people want you to be less of this and more of that I, I completely think that we adjust and we grow and we learn 100% but the things that are your magic the things that are your uh, your secret sauce what makes you 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 know I've gotten here by being my, my quirky big dreaming kind of wide-eyed self and it's worked for me You've had success, obviously, with Candytopia, and you've even been on TV. And both of these could be considered a moment where you've made it. But to you, when you think about it, what was that first moment in your journey that you felt, this is my made it moment? Um, yeah, you know, I, I think that I am a, a, a highly ambitious person. I'm kind of a... Uh, like many entrepreneurs, you're never content. You're always uh, looking for the next thing that inspires you. And as creatives and artists, I remember when I, I launched my um, company, Hollywood Candy Girls in LA, um, got a call to do some events for Oprah. And I died, it was like, mama, Oprah, the queen. I uh, literally was like, so pregnant and uh, I'm this giant pregnant woman and Oprah calls for an event and it's like in the Hollywood Hills up 500 flights of stairs and I'm dying and I can't breathe and there was no way that I wasn't gonna work 
and I think I was like six days away from um, delivering and didn't know what, what the hell I was doing, to be honest. But uh, I knew that I got a job for Oprah and it was everything to me. And um, she was launching her own network at the time. And I walked up these flights of stairs with my team and I was carrying stuff. I shouldn't have been carrying, I shouldn't have been walking. I should have been in bed. And uh, I walked into this room and created this beautiful display of, of sparkling, glittering candy treats, desserts all custom with her logo and her face. and. I hear someone turn around and I hear someone say, oh my gosh, who did this? This is amazing. And I just turned around with my giant belly to say, thank you. And it was her. And I was like, ah! So I literally turned around and I was so, you know, I was pregnant and tired. And she put her hands on my belly and she just said, thank you for being here. And, and she's like, get some rest. And I was like, never. And so, um, that moment for me, just because of what Oprah, you know, she's one of the visionaries, the world changers, the game changers of our time. I was so honored. And so then she blessed my daughter. And I hope she blessed my stomach. She blessed my daughter. It was this religious moment. It was amazing. And I worked the whole party that night. Yeah, I'll never forget that. When you were dreaming up Candytopia, what steps did you take to turn that wild idea into a reality? Patience, persistence, and timing truly is everything. The U.S. market was finally ready for these types of experiences that you now see, they're very common now. Um, Candytopia, you know, we like to call ourselves a mini theme park as well, so it's a, it, we kind of feel like we've created this new lane and space for ourselves. GoDaddy in particular means something really interesting to me because I like to create names. What is the website gonna be? So I am a, like, manic domain buyer and I love <laughs> buying domains so literally when I have an idea like Hollywood Candy Girls I would is it available and I go to this thing called GoDaddy HollywoodCandyGirls.com.us.org.ca.everything and I was like give them all and I literally would buy all of them and then I would buy every other domain that sounds like that domain and then I would buy everything in that space the sweet life the candy this the candy girl the and I just literally have done that with every business I own so many domains, you guys. I could probably be a very wealthy person. <laughs> but yeah, I, it is part of my creative process. What do you want people to learn from you? I don't know, just kind of making the most out of your life. I think that, you know, I'm one of those people that's like, one life, YOLO sister, do it all. It's the idea of, of you know, take life by the horns and don't, and seize the day and take every opportunity. Uh, it's be brave, you know, be brave, be bold. I know that not everybody naturally has that in their personality and, and I didn't either. Um, but uh, this idea of just going for it is so powerful. My team gets terrified when, when they hear this, like, what do you want to do next? And I'm like, well, now that you asked. Um, you know, Candytopia in a very short amount of time has just, I feel like the, the U.S. market has wrapped their arms around us so tightly from L.A. to San Francisco to New York City. Um, it, it is the tremendous feedback of the people that want this product. They are coming out. We, have, we, we sell out before we even open, which is incredible. Um, people are sharing hundreds of thousands of posts and shares on social, which is really our, our feedback. So I think that what's next for me, you know, people always say, do you ever rest? Do you ever take a break? I'm like, why would I do that? I'm a Latina in the U.S. making jobs and giving people jobs and my immigrant parents would be thrilled and, and they are thrilled. And um, I, I think the end game, honestly, is I think Candytopia will be a theme park. And I think that the way that our team has so intelligently kind of created this brand and as we continue to mold the brand and develop it, um, we call ourselves now a mini theme park. And uh, I think the world's ready for this new candy brand of, of, you know, that promotes just living your best life and your sweetest life to kind of uh, become something bigger. We went ahead and let the GoDaddy tribe know on social that you were coming. Okay. People were very excited. And we have a couple of questions from the tribe. Okay. Now the first question I particularly like okay. because it's actually not about candy at all. It's about your fashion. Got it. I know, you have a pair of purple pants yes. that people absolutely love. Mina posted on Instagram, please ask her where did she get those purple pants? 
you know what, Mina, thank you. Cause I literally had to go buy an outfit for our opening night and we were installing Candy Toby. And I was like, I don't have an outfit. And ran across the street to the Manhattan mall and literally like went into like New York and company and was like, I need some great pants and I need a color. And I saw my Willy Wonka purple pants and died. And you know, they're like the satiny material. They were great. And they were on clearance for 29 <laughs> $29 and yeah, they were great. And I literally, everything I've done, people are like, what are those pants? I need them in every color now, but yeah, yes. I love those pants. The next question comes from Rachel and Rachel is wondering why candy? Um, you know, why, why candy is like, why, why would you not ever really? <laughs> Um, here, you know, the thing is, uh, candy is something that universally makes everyone happy. And, um, you know, I, I, I really love that my medium is simply candy to speak this bigger message to the world of just, you know, of course I'm one of these, I'm kind of one of these hippies that want to fix the world and peace and love. And I really believe that. And, you know, I'm a complete lover of, of humanity and people and positivity and joy. Candy is just the way that I get to connect that message to the people. I want to continue to get personal. Okay. We're going to lighten it up though. Okay. We're going to speed things up. We're going to lighten things up and really get in and get to know you. Okay. We're going to play a game called Hustle Time. So Jonathan, would you please bring in the cards? <laughs> oh my gosh, it makes me so nervous, you guys. <laughs> okay. I want you to feel like the deck is fair. Okay. So you may shuffle or cut or do whatever you feel you need to do. Okay. Okay. I'm not even good at this in Vegas. So here, that's my <laughs> shuffle and they're probably going to fly all over the place. So we are going to set a timer for 60 seconds. Okay. And I am going to read the question to you and you say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Jonathan, can we have 60 seconds on the clock? We have 60 seconds? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Favorite breakfast food? Oh God, Pop-Tart. Least favorite candy? Oh, oh, uh, non-pareil. <laughs> Go-to karaoke song? I will survive. Boozy brunch or morning workout? Boozy brunch. How would your mother describe you? Loca. <laughs> Camping or glamping? Oh, glamping. Dream dinner guest? Mama Oprah again. Would you rather fly or talk to animals? Uh, talk to animals. Biggest splurge? Um, I am finally able to buy the full size bottle of perfume, not the tiny size, or steal the samples. <laughs> One thing you want on a desert island with you? What do I want or who do I want? One thing. Lots of food. Surf's up or cocktails poolside? Uh, cocktails. What's the first app you open in the morning? Instagram. <laughs> Best place you've traveled? New York City. Uh, favorite kid from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Uh, Charlie. M&M's or Skittles? M&M's. Describe yourself in three words. Um, persistent. <laughs> Wait, it's okay, what are they? What okay. are they? Persistent, never give her up for and fun. <laughs> okay, so for the moment of truth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. What does that mean? <laughs> That's a lot. That's up there. This is definitely yeah, leading the pack. The Absolutely, you are on the podium. You've placed, lady. Thank you. Nice Thank job. You Thank you very much. I'm honored. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for being here. Oh, thank you guys. It was super fun. It was, I had a lot of fun too. Um, there's one last thing that we must do before you go, and it involves Noodle, a 10 year old pug, and an Instagram celebrity, oh. and a veteran on the GoDaddy social team. Jonathan, you want to bring Noodle in? I love this. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Now, give me this person animal thing. <laughs> There, there he is. Hi, bud. So, this, in, in closing, I'd love for you to give um, one last piece of advice to Noodle. He is um, obviously doing very well with his Instagram account. He has the best smile. 
It's okay, it's okay. And work should be fun. Yeah. And I am wondering what advice you would give to Noodle and those out there about keeping positive in life and in the workplace. Um, I feel like, can I just talk to Noodle? Yes. Can I get in like my mom voice? Can you, can you do that? Noodle, 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 Noodle. Um, yeah, I think it's really important, Noodle, to, um, you know, to really not let any dream crushers come your way because there's a lot of dream crushers out there and uh, and and never lose your magic and your your specialness and uh, you know it's 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 uh, even that stinky breath of yours is really making you you so yeah I think that you know same advice say it's okay uh, same advice that I would give uh, you know my kids I would give to noodle to uh, be yourself and don't be afraid of being yourself because in the end, that's your magic. Well, that's a wrap. So fun. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys for having me. This was amazing. So fun. I hope that everyone enjoyed the episode. I, please, I encourage you to subscribe. Be with us. We're going to be bringing School of Hustle weekly and we want you to watch and subscribe. Oh yeah, I want you to watch and subscribe. This episode was so fun. I mean, it was just so many layers of stuff. Please subscribe.